Well, it's finally been almost four years, but they finally released Blaze Blue's Alternative Dark Wars trailer. Honestly, this is my this is like my fourth recording of this, because I'm trying to get my words out right, because I had to rewatch the trailer again and again to try to figure out some shit. So, let's start off with the first thing I see, the goddamn art of it. So, Ragnar still exists, which is funny, this is, I think it's art they've used for Ragnar before in a different, um, in a different, uh, like, little collaboration art or something like that, I can't remember, but point is, that's... Ragnar exists here, which is great. You know, they said Blaze Blue re uh, RPG reboot, so I figure all the all the characters that we come to know and love are gonna still be here. The funny thing on the cover is like they changed the cover from like, the original one, like you know, where like Jen, uh, Jen, Noel, Raquel, Trinity, you know, they were on the original cover, but now they changed it. I don't know if that's gonna be like alternate art or whatever, but still, it's kind of funny they changed it in the first place. So on the cover is Ragnar, CL, Noel, S, and Naruto, which is. Crazy to me because, like, you know, if they just had Mai on the cover, they would have had the main protagonist from all the series. You know, like Noelle existing on here, she kind of just you. If you took Noelle out and put Mai there, you have the main character for Blade. I'm sorry, uh, you have Ragnar, the main character for Blaze Blue. S, the main character for X Blaze. Now it's all the main character for um, uh, Blaze Experience. CL, possibly the main character for, uh, or at least the representative for Alternative Dark War. And Mai, the main character for the remix of Variable Heart series. That would have been perfect. That would have been the sickest thing ever, but whatever. Anyway, so moving on, they started to show... They didn't show gameplay, but they they uh, they uh started showing some characters that were going to be in the game. We already knew Trinity and Cosmo were going to be, and they showed, like, screenshots of that, like, forever ago. Um, uh, Makoto and Tsubaki. Goddamn, Makoto, what has happened to you? Ooh, they, they, they nerfed Makoto hard. Goddamn, look at her arms. Oh, my God. Ooh. Makoto. Baby, no! <laughs> uh, but anyway, they show more screenshots that I didn't take. I feel like they were pointless. We are those characters we already know. They also show a little thing about the. Uh, they show a little bit of the gameplay, I guess. It looks like fate. And I'm not, I don't want to say that for every goddamn anime mobile game ever because they're obviously different, but this just looks like fate because, like, they have, like, the little moves they showed or, or Noble Phantasms or whatever the hell it's called. And they show them, like, you know, they get, the screen gets dark and they use their attacks or whatever. And this looks like. It just, it just looks like fate. It just like fate, but hey, you know what the funny thing about it is? First, I already knew this was gonna be like fate with a mobile skin because Mori likes fate. But second of all, it's just funny to me because technically, uh, all their big special moves are like their, their astral keats, and uh, that means technically for now we actually have a seal astral heat, which is really cool. So I didn't get a bunch of, the, I didn't screenshot a bunch of them. I did screenshot bullets and hibikis because. I did say that uh, that Mori did say they were going to come in, uh, come in eventually. They even had art for like Bullet with pants, and, and apparently here she doesn't have her pants anymore. But whatever. And we knew he Biki was going to get in because Mori released art for him, but you know his art wasn't even out yet. Honestly, these character arts look, these character art looks a little rough. Oh, Biki looks terrible. God damn. But anyway, moving on. So we see this character, and I'm like, who the hell is this? You know, like she she looks like she has a black beast arm. She has a ribbon. Uh, she has horns. Like when I look at her closely, her hair looks like Mai's, but I think her her her, her uh, a hoge thing is like on a different side. Like she has that cloak on, like the Prime Fields wear. Like you know we're not in their battle form. She has, she has that little thing on where Prime Fields wear. So I don't know who the hell this could be. She doesn't look anyone remotely familiar. I thought she was Mei Feng at first until I got the closer look at the design, but she's not Mei Feng. She's wearing a ribbon like Mai, and the way her hair looks. Like, she looks like Mai as if she was a prime field of sorts. But considering we don't have any confirmation for, like, Mai being in this game, I want, it'd be cool if there's some dark version of Mai that would be sick. But, uh, <laughs> no, that, actually, that would be sick, dude. Like, like, a dark black beast Mai character, that would be sick. It looks like Mai, honestly. It really does look like her. Like, looking at, like, this character closely, you see, you can just see it's so creepy. But it's so, so cool, like... I don't know, man. Like, I, I really, I really want to know who the hell this is because, like, honestly, I just, I don't freaking know. Like, she's new. She has to be new. I mean, I want to say she's like a new prime field or whatever because she's wearing that little cloak, like she is. But looking at her, looking at her hair, it looks just like my. Like, look at it. The ribbon, the ahoga. Like, look at it. Does it not not look like my to you? Like, I swear, to God, if, the, if this comes out to being that my is some crazy, fr like, it, it, I know it's not my, and it's a stretch to say it's her. Because, like, you know, looking at the ribbon, she she looks like she's wearing, like, a ribbon on the other side of her hair. I can't tell that where the hoga is sticking out from. Don't know, but she looks like a prime field. She could be a prime field. She's, wearing, again, wearing the little 
thing they wear when they're not in combat, if that's what it is. And she also has this weird weapon thing, looks like a pike? Not a pike, what am I talking about? Like, what is that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we don't know. Probably won't know, but she looks like an edgy mod. That's all I can say about that. But moving on from uh, this new character, Saya Terami is in the game, because obviously now she's going to be here. The fact that she, Masaya Terami is going to be playable in the first place is really cool. Um, I hope to see all of her soon. Then we move on to Akane Teruhiko, which I'm amazed they actually showed off in this game. I, I can tell that Mori really wanted to do something with Akane, or at least someone wanted to do something with Akane, considering that he was at the end of, you know, they kind of played him up during that Blaze with Remix Heart, and he actually, sh he was one of the very few characters that showed up at the end of Blaze with Variable Heart. So, you know, yeah, I, I feel like they were going to do something with Akane, but the fact they actually introduced him here, which is actually really cool. Uh, then we see Ripper from X Blaze, which so we, it's kind of like a melting pot Blaze with characters from all over, you know, with, oh, we got uh, Side Terry from Blood Experience. Oh, we have Akane from X, uh, Remix Heart slash Variable Heart. Oh, we have Ripper from X Blaze. You know, it's it's really cool. I still want to know who that new character is. Like, holy shit, who are you? Who are you? Are you new or are you someone in, like an alternate version? Because like I swear to God, this could be Alt Mai. We already have alternate version of characters that exist in Blaze. Will please be Alt Mai? Please be Alt Mai. I swear to God. I'm do I have to go back and look at mine? Says that's my, that's my. Yeah, I remember. I, I, if I look, at, I look at the design close enough. That's my. Even the hairstyle looks kind of the same. Oh my God. Like, look at the hairstyle close enough, it could be mine. I swear to God. Like, I'm gonna be thinking about this all day, but that could be mine. I swear to God. You don't get any other characters in Blaze with the Ahoge and the ribbon and the way she looks. That's mine. What the hell happened? <laughs> what the hell happened to mine, dude? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that was an alternate version of Mai, especially considering that, you know, one of the big draws for Blaze Blue Alternative Dark War was alternate versions of characters that we've seen before, which I like the idea of. I personally like the idea of, because that means we can get a lot more wacky character designs and the wacky character looks, which I'm, I'm all for. I'm really all for. I love it when they take a regular character design and just change it up to something else entirely. Hell, we got alternative new, we got alternative Kagura, we got alternative uh, Trinity, which is cool because, like, you know, they, they they show that there's maybe a story tied to these characters that, like, hey, Kagura looks like this edgy samurai character. Maybe the Kagura Civil War effed him up so badly, that's what he looks like now. Or, you know, because he's a samurai, he was, you know, he's trained by, um, trained by Tenjo. Granted, she trained ninjas, but he still he could be he could still be like this edgy badass walk around. Oh yeah, new who's like freaking has Rockness like some of Rockness clothing on, has her tattoo cut off, uh, crossed out. My bad. Oh, you got training who fused with Terry me. Like, what would I think would happen to Mai? I don't know honestly what could happen to Mai, but considering that she has her little grimoire powers and she can uh, use she can somehow use the Blaze Blue, I wouldn't be shocked if you know she channeled the Azure Grimoire through her Blaze Blue. I mean because. Technically, she can become any, like, she can have any power through, like, through her grimoire, and technically, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna spend this whole video theorizing now. The point is, she could possibly use the Azure Grimoire, but I'm not gonna theorize the whole, all this. The point is, uh, yeah, Alternative Dark World has cool characters, and I wish that, I hope to see more. I hope to see, I hope to see more with these kind of characters, because this is, this is sick, dude. While I personally don't care for mobile games, I'm just glad that, you know, Alternative Dark War is even a thing now because it's been going on almost four years and no news of it had came out since. So it's nice to finally see it in, you know, form, you know? I, I, I personally do not like mobile games. And I really don't like gotcha games. Anything gotcha I don't like. But I'm just glad to see it here. And I will play it. I won't lie. I will play it. I will probably, you know, you know, show it on my channel because I mean, it's been waiting. I've been waiting for this for the longest time now. I'm not gonna not play it, you know. I remember seeing people in the little uh, little trailer video from Arxis release, and they were like, "Oh, it's a mobile game." Blah, blah. I was like, "Are you kidding me? It's been out for almost four years. You guys haven't heard of this at all?" Like, damn. Like, I'm, I'm shocked. That everybody's like, even people who knew about it, even people who knew about it, were like, "Oh, it's a mobile game." Ugh. Like, yeah, it's been a mobile game. How, you got? Do you not pay attention? Like, shit. It's been a mobile game. No, it's gonna change. God. My mates, people still are freaking out. Like, they're not freaking out, but like pissed about that. It's like, yeah, it's been like that was it was announced like three years ago when like freaking cross tag was announced. How do you guys not know? Like, oh my god, what, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm not defending this shit, but like, I'm I'm just saying that I'm surprised that, people, that so many people didn't even pay attention in the first place. But whatever. I'm importantly, I'm going to try it out. I'm gonna see what it's gonna be like. And oh man, I just want to see more characters. Honestly, I want to see more characters. I want to see more art. That's like the only thing I'm probably gonna give a sh mostly give a shit about. And. And new game, new new music. 
new music. Like, I heard that new song during the trailer. Alternate Dark Wars, we have a lot more music by Daisuke or Norichi Kasato, whoever the hell's gonna do it this time, because Daisuke's probably working on freaking, um, what you call it, uh, Guilty Gear uh, Strive right now, so I don't know. But the point is, I'm just happy to see Alternate Dark War in some kind of physical form, and I will play it. I'm just glad to see it exist. I'm glad to see more new characters. I'm glad, it, I'm wondering what they're gonna do with more alternate versions of characters, because please, that would be the sickest shit ever. Alternate Ragna, alternate Noel, alternate Jin, alternate Lychee, I don't know, Platinum, throw everyone in, I don't give a shit. Alternate everyone. 